How the fuck are you, Lacubrius Masters of Metamucil, doing today? It's the Aussie Metalhead here at you with the fucking video that I've been wanting to make for so goddamn long now. Today we're talking about Classic Metal Lover. So the reason it's taken me so long to really figure out what I wanted to do with this video is because I didn't want to do an album review. These are albums that are so fucking ingrained into our culture at this point that I don't really see the point in dissecting and analysing them again. Who the fuck needs another review of, like, Machine Heads the Blackening, Slipknot Iowa, Meshuggah's Obzen. These are, these are albums that we've been talking about for so goddamn long now that it sort of feels redundant to do another review at this point. And instead, I'm actually going to be talking about where I was at why these albums were important to me and what exactly they did to change my perceptions of music. So don't be expecting me to talk about my favourite tracks or any of that sort of stuff. Really, the albums themselves are more of a backdrop in this situation to talk about what I was going through at the time. So if you guys are interested in this new kind of weird, different kind of style of, uh, of videos, let me know in the comments if you want to see more of these. I've got so many fucking albums to talk about that have influenced me personally, so... If you guys are interested, fucking let me know, and I'll do a few more of these. But for now, let's go back to the fucking beginning. Also, a quick disclaimer before we really get into things. This list is not going to comprise of my top 10 albums of all time. These, Some of these albums are albums that I actually really don't like anymore, so please just keep that in mind as I go through these various albums, because many of them are albums that I do still cherish and hold quite dear to my heart, but there are some in there that uh, I'm not really a huge fan of anymore. But again, this is really about talking about why these albums were important to me, many of these being gateway albums that helped me open my eyes more, discover more things. So before you guys let loose a tirade of all oh, fuck in the comments, which you're probably going to do it anyway, but who gives a fuck? This is not my top 10 albums of all time. These aren't my favourite albums of all time. These are albums that really pushed me further into the world of metal. And for that, I feel like they're deserving of some credit. So let's fucking do it. So the first album I'm going to talk about is just really just going to be no fucking shocker to anybody. Realistically, anyone from my generation or previously, or even this fucking new generation, can easily say that this was the band that made them aware that metal existed. But the band that I'm going to be talking about first, the album that I'll be talking about first, is of course Iron Maiden's Number of the Beast. What more can be said about this album? It's an absolute fucking masterpiece. This is an absolutely fucking exceptional fucking album, and I love it dearly to this day. Around at the time of me getting into the Iron Maidens, I was also made aware of a motor, head machine, head motor, head motor, head motor, a bit of the Judas Please, even to an extent some of the Motley Douche. I'm never really a particularly large fan of the latter, but, you know, weird shit ends up on your music playlists when you're younger, doesn't it? But out of all of these bands, Iron Maiden were immediately my favourite. I fucking loved the guitar tone. Uh, I remember the rest of my family not being too particularly happy that their, their very young uh, kid knew all the words to a 666 number of the beast. But what are you going to do? Raised by a metalhead. Tough titties. So at the time, I don't really have too much clarity in my memory of what I had been listening to at that point. All I remember is that once I got into Iron Maiden, that was pretty much it. They were the first band that I took a really major uh, interest in, and they were the first band that I really invested in when it came to learning about them and listening to more of their music. After Number of the Beast, I quickly discovered Peace of Mind, which is easily my favorite favorite Iron Maiden album of all time. Up there with, of course, the legendary Somewhere in Time and Power Slave, these being my absolute favorite Iron Maiden albums. Uh, this was, of course, before the, the long hair or the metal shirts or any of that sort of stuff. So it was a really formative time uh, back, you know, I wasn't even referring to it as metal. You know, I just said, this is a great rock band. This is Iron Maiden. Um, and for me, that was enough. For quite a few years, Maiden was the band that carried me through an awful lot of stuff. Other stuff came and went. Other songs came and went. But I had yet to find a band that I could sit down and smash through an entire album album though until so the next album we're talking about is master of puppets by metallica and i know this is the fucking there's gonna be half of you guys saying oh yeah metallica and the other half going oh fuck metallica and i have to say that i do fit on the the fuck metallica side of things you know for all the traditional reasons i don't like the black album saying angus 
fucking snare. Need I really say more, Lulu? Oh. <laughs> Thinking about shit, you know, the, the smell. <laughs> so Metallica. <laughs> I fucking loved Master of Puppets when I heard it for the very first time. Grown up with Maiden, I fucking loved Maiden. Uh, I enjoyed Priest, I enjoyed Motorhead. But there just comes a point in a boy's life where the shit just isn't heavy enough. It, it's not aggressive enough, it's not fast enough. And by that point, I'd become aware of stuff like suicidal tendencies, uh, and even a little bit of Anthrax and Megadeth. Uh, Anthrax of which are actually my favorite thrash metal band today. But um, prior to that, I, I'd sort of got an understanding that, that there was some other stuff out there. But it wasn't until I heard Metallica. For whatever reason, that was just what did it for me at that time. And Master of Puppets quickly became my absolute favourite fucking album. Again, this is an album that's been praised, analysed and dissected so many times by so many different people. I feel like my opinion is either just going to go with uh, with either side of the spectrum. My argument's already been said. We all know how we feel about it. So I'm just going to leave that there. I will say, though, that it's been a very, very fucking long time since I have listened to this album. I'm not a Metallica fan anymore by any extent. I'll thrash some Injustice for All every now and then. The production doesn't bother me half as much as St. Anger does because Injustice for All, I actually, you know cared about the fucking songs they were writing. So although I can't say that I am a Metallica fan by any extent these days, I will say that Master of Puppets deserves its place on this list because it was the album that turned me from the scrawny, nerdy, kind of alt hard rock listening kid uh, into an adolescent, uh, zit covered, still very fucking scrawny, uh, Thrasher. And I just remember absolutely fucking loving that album. And Justice For All came soon after that. And although I'd love to put Justice For On here because it is still my favourite Metallica album, Master of Puppets was the album that got me into Metallica and by extent pushed me into the world of thrash metal. By around that time I was discovering Megadeth and Anthrax, Testament, uh, Exodus. There was a lot of stuff that I was finding at that point. So I can definitely refer to Master of Puppets as being the catalyst for all of that, and I have no issue with that whatsoever, because it served its fucking purpose to get me where I am now. So fuck yeah, Master of Puppets. Alright guys, so this is probably going to be the last album that I talk about today, just for uh, for smoothness sake and to keep these videos relatively short. Uh, if you guys are interested in seeing me talk more about these classic albums that pushed me into the world of metal, please let me know in a comment down below and I will continue to make these maybe every fortnight or every month, depending on what you guys think. I'll probably like to do these every fortnight because I do have many, many more albums that I'd really like to discuss. But again, I'll leave it up to you guys. Let me know in the comments whether or not you'd like to see any more classic albums that changed my life. But anyway, on to the final one. All right, so at this point, I think I was around 12 or 13. I had long since worn out Master of Puppets by Metallica and had had to move on to something else. Release, uh, I became a huge thrash metal fan for that period of time. Not really a thrasher anymore by any extent. I can go back and jam some anthrax here and then, but for me, it was sort of Metallica and Megadeth have sort of, sort of done their dash for me. They're not bands that I particularly listen to anymore. But it was at this point that I started noticing that I was wanting something I will use the word eclectic as being the term that I was really looking for at that point. I didn't realise that there was that much of a hole in my music catalogue as there was until I found System of a Down with the album Toxicity. Toxicity, man. Fuck me. Now, I'm a really big fan of System of a Down's debut album and almost everything that they've released up till this point. But um, Toxicity does stand out in my mind, as it does many others, as being the definitive System of a Down experience. Um, fuck, man. As, a, as an adolescent, as, a, as, a, as a, uh, an almost preteen, I seriously could not fucking love this album any more than I did. I reached insane levels of obsession with System of a Down. I wanted to know everything. I wanted to hear everything. But every single time I tried stepping into a new System of a Down album, I really struggled because it wasn't toxicity. And that's how much I fucking loved this album. Every single track for me 
is an absolute fucking banger. It opens perfectly, it ends perfectly. They just, they made so many good decisions when it came to this album. Uh, it's produced extremely well. It's nice and dense, but there's uh, there's enough dynamics going for nothing to get too stale. Uh, they also work really well with their short ass fucking songs. Again, this is starting to sound like a fucking review, which I don't want, but I love this fucking album so much, man. It's incredible. But at the time, you know, I was starting to go through all of the normal fucking bullshit that preteens usually do. Uh, all that angsty bullshit and, and, and illogical anger, uh, irrationality, all of that sort of started bleeding into what I was listening to. And so I found System of Down and it was just everything that I needed at that point in my life. And I fucking loved every goddamn second of it. Uh, toxicity for me, again, it opened the doors to so much more stuff, which I'll touch on in the next video, um, just really opened my eyes. It was a bit, it was, it was a lot heavier than everything else I've been listening to. I hadn't heard anything that was tuned as low as B standard before, so that was a really big thing for me. Hearing this really down tuned, fucking palm muted riffage uh, was a very new thing for me. So it was very, very huge and fundamental in pushing me into much heavier depths of music. And for that, Toxicity deserves its fucking place on my list for sure. Alright guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this look back into my classic albums that changed my life. Uh, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Leave a fucking comment down below. As usual, let me know if you'd like to see more of these videos and I shall make it happen. So anyway guys, that'll be enough for me today. Please keep a lookout for another bands you should be listening to. I am building up to do yet another edition of that. And as well as the standard album reviews being released semi-weekly. Anyway, until next time guys, stay safe.